PC if we're gonna start up without a VATS signal, uh, then VATS is bad. Isn't a security info having to be done in the R? Yes, great. It's the RF8. It's not a skin module on this car, RF8. Just like having a skin module, you have to send the security code to the PCM. But you can't do that manually. Then uh, Greg, Greg, obviously on the same page I am. J Joseph talking about VATS. Joseph's done learned some new words and new phrases from a whole different model. All right, guys, when you're dealing with stuff like this, yes, from a traditional standpoint, everything is pretty much standardized, except the freaking language. All right, what the fuck is a VATS? What VATS what? Okay, now my man Greg have zoned his comment on this particular car, okay? We have a problem with this car, not your VW that your VATS went out on, Joseph. So don't nobody even know what the hell you talking about, bro. Let me finish reading, let me read Greg again. Isn't a security info having to be done? In the, yes, it do. Just like having a skill module. You have to send the security. But there's no manual way to send it there. When you flash or flash the module, that information is supposed to go in there on its own. On a skim car, you tell the skim module that the PCM just been replaced. So what it do then is marry those two together. And now they're on the same page. They have the same VINs. The VINs have to match in order to get that start signal, the ground signal. This is a little different from a skim car because it's a RFH. That's a whole module, you know, a whole different module. Greg, I'm going to reflash this thing again to see if some software just got left out during the flash. I, I did. I end up using my phone, so I don't know. Just a chance. I'm going to do it on the computer with the charge on it and see what happens. That's the one we left off yesterday, all right? I got the new PCM in. The old PCM out. It was internally shorted, failure, what have you. My problem is I cannot get it to start now, even though it powers up. So what I suspect I have is a security issue. In fact, one of the fault codes is skim not, no, key not program. I know the key program because I programmed a new key or a spare key I had in my toolbox. And on top of that, the old key worked. So I posted a video or we discussed this in a live stream. Had a couple of cats chime in. Oh my goodness, man. Uh, appreciate all you guys. I had a couple of hard ass. Some guy named Joseph talking about VATS. VATS ain't got... VATS is the old technology that GM used to use. GM introduced VATS. Uh, what is it? Vehicle... Something about security. Vehicle uh, VATS. V-A-T. Theft. Security. I forgot what the acronym stand for, but it doesn't apply to this freaking car. So that knucklehead Joseph... They're just blabbing off in the mouth. I told y'all, when people learn something uh, that they, you know, proud of, they apply it to every car. But, dude, this is a 2016 model Chrysler, okay? It's not an old-ass GM product, okay? So, vets they have nothing to do with this. But he was adamant about it. But anyway, so I read some of the comments. I tried to go back in that live stream and look at all those comments that was on the side. I missed a lot of good ones while I was live streaming, but... Some people chimed in after the fact it was over. Uh, people like Tom Cook. Tom Cook suggested, let me show you something, Tom. Tom Cook suggested I go in the, R, what's the RFH? This is topology, guys, what they call a topology right there. RFH and uh, utilize or do what we call uh, RFH replacement. That way the skim would be transferred over miscellaneous man i don't even know if y'all can see okay right here rf hub replace tom suggests or think that that would transfer the key over however that would not do it tom if you try that it's going to say uh yeah it's already programmed so it's not that was uh uh but i appreciate the effort tom i think that works on those the newer cars tom not this one now here's the thing guys some guy in the comment section in the chat room mentioned this as well. That's why I try to read all these damn comments. He suggested that I go to the BCM. And this guy got to be a Chrysler guy because don't, everybody don't know this. Go to the BCM on the miscellaneous. And look what, guys, a feature that I neglected to do. You see this? PCM replace. Yes, you got to do that in order for the security to travel over. And now married it to use this function when the PCM has been replaced. Yes, I replaced the PCM to program the immobilizer data. Yes, that is one little small feature. You will need to be online to complete this function. If not already online procedure. Yes, guys, I neglect to do that part. I told you this is 2016. My brain is all on the new stuff. Yes. Uh, you got to have the PM files. 
We doing this live, guys. Five seven one eight. Five seven one eight. Um, that's the code. It does you no good. Anybody writing that down? It's correct pin for this vehicle. Yes, and it's time sensitive, so it's gonna time out anyway. Is the pin correct? Yes. Contacting dealer connect. Why are you contacting dealer connect? Contacting dealer. Okay, they're seeing if that pin is active. I guess. Uh, please be active. All right. Uh, because this car had been in my stall for two days. I was waiting on the engineer to call me, but programming PCM. Uh oh, we may be on to something. It's programming, dudes. Please cycle key. Please cycle key. Let me go cycle the key. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know who that fellow was, but I sure need to thank you that uh cycle off back on. I think I had the cycle key. Keep a battery charge on this thing while you're doing any kind of flash program. Please cycle key. Uh hold on, hold on, hold on. Continue. Checking PCM status. Now what? Now what? Now what? Contact the dealer connect. Whoa! Let me see if this sucker fire up. Hit close. Uh-oh, here we go, guys. The test of time. Joseph can eat up. Oh, this is a family channel, JT. What are you doing? Let this sucker fire up. I'm talking about one happy camper. Ladies and gentlemen, let me turn this off. And... Yes! Yes! Ah! <laughs> oh, my freaking goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yo, boy. Ah, it's running, dudes. So... What's the moral of the story here? <laughs> Anytime you replacing a controller, guys, security system is uh, standard equipped on just about every car, I don't know, 2008 maybe and up. So there's no way around it. There's features in all these computers that will have to be married to the car. These are no longer plug and play. All right, you can't just plug these up and go. Now, with that being said, there are some aftermarket security companies that can program the codes and everything already in it and then mail it to you. Yes, that's always an option. However, I'm dealing with a controller that has nothing in it. It's naked. When I got this out of a box, it was brand new, empty, naked, no software in it. So I literally have to download. It's called tuning in a high performance world. I had to download all the information off the server and put on here but if you don't bring the security features with it you're never gonna you never that's why i wasn't getting my ground signal to this remember i told y'all starter that's two freaking starter relays i don't give a damn if the starter made a go it's not gonna crank if the electro electronics uh from the relay is on point all right, so let me grab my tripod, guys. I got to put this on the tripod. We're going to talk some more. This, I, we fixed this. I did this live. So, but I appreciate, let me, all right, we're going to talk some more. Let me, let me find my tripod and set this up. Say, hold on.